Hello, and welcome to Be Open at Auto Club. This ought to be a fun one. We are here on Monday night, as the week changed over. Just finished a fun race at Texas in the ARCA car. Just my volume a bit. Uh, yeah, had a fun race there. And what's next is this one. Had Auto Club coming up, and OSR had a setup already. Ready for us to go, and uh, I don't know, hopefully be somewhat competitive. Seemed like I had some good laps put in. In preparation, in the open practice. Hopefully we'll be able to follow that up here with some decent qualifying. So far so good. Decent one and two. Track seems like it might be a little bit faster than it was before. Haven't got three and four quite down yet, I don't think. Still working on it. Likes to get loose. That wasn't optimal. One more lap. But perhaps acceptable, because that will be a new personal best in the 39s. Didn't put Q-tape on it or anything like that. This is not a qualifying setup, just a race setup. So I don't expect to qualify well. But if I do, that'd be neat. We're the 8 car. And uh, not even the highest ranked Colton in here. <laughs> Some guy named Colton Davis has shown up. I don't recognize him. But uh, he is my rival this race. Rival of the Coltons, <laughs> I guess. That means functionally nothing. Except that at the end of the race I will look to see if I was the number one Colton. And I will say... Array or Boo. So we are seventh right now, probably going to drop a couple more. Got some familiar names in here that are probably going to be very fast. I'll have my, whatchamacallit, race lab up here in a moment. I keep forgetting to turn it on. Watch your speed limit in the pits. I keep going back and forth on where I want to break for pit entry because I kind of sometimes it feels like I slow down too soon and then other times I go too fast so uh, a little in, uh, inconsistent there oh wow those tires are gonna be uh, ripping off I don't plan on running the high side during the race we'll be trying to apex and stay off the right front as much as possible pretty high tape they're giving me here and it makes the water temp go up a little bit but i'm thinking with some lifting off and uh, just you know running uh Your temperatures are now back to normal. the tire saving line we should be okay even with when we enter uh, busy traffic Hopefully I'm right, because I don't want to blow an engine. I don't know about you, I sure don't. I'm thinking it should be fine, though. We're going to have to be somewhat patient. Oh, I don't think I'm going to beat <laughs> the other Colton. <laughs> He's just casually on pole, I guess. That's right, I want to do this. Ta-da! All is good. 3.7 strength of field, pretty solid. Like I said, the number 8 is a 5k I-rating driver. So some pretty fast individuals in here. Topped by Tommy here with a 6.5. And the lowest will be, looks like Kyle with a 2.3. A very respectable 2.3. So should be a good one, I hope. Last week it was the trucks. Here at Auto Club I did a couple of those. But wasn't feeling well, so I didn't record them. That had some strong competition as well. Uh, 
Oh, excuse me. pre race yawn. It's all the rage these days. So I might have gotten, been able to go a little bit faster with Q setup. So I'm not too concerned. I'll be watching the water temp. And hopefully I can save tires. Everything else is looking okay. Crew chief got that data. is ready to collect some data about fuel and whatnot. I'm ready. I think it should be fun. I like Auto Club. One of my uh, favorite exciting finishes I've had happened here. Photo finish with somebody after uh, I killed the tires in the Arca car. Stop me if you've heard that one before. Killed the tires and nearly lost a huge lead I had. And uh, had to do a crossover on them on the final corner. Got side by side. Photo finish. It was really exciting. That's an older video on my channel. Pretty fun one. Sorry for spoiling it, I guess. <laughs> but that was like a year and a half ago, maybe. Probably longer. Two years? I don't know. But we're back at Auto Club in the Xfinity car. Is the person in front of me going to show up? Yes. Just want to make us wait to the last second, I guess, is all they're doing. <laughs> we might have to save fuel to make it to halfway. No. No way, right? 39.9, and I know that's going to start dropping, probably. I'm sure we can make it halfway. I'll keep an eye on it. And thankfully, my fuel calculator actually works here, unlike in the league races. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the inside. Pit road is closed. muted. Catch yeah, up. Nice. Seven. Car. It's pretty quiet in here. So what gear? Is it second gear maybe? It's looking like second gear perhaps. Pretty fast pace speed here at the two mile track. Yeah, definitely not first gear. Caught up. No tire spin, it looks like. So everything's looking good. The truck races I had were pretty solid. One of them went green all the way. I hope we get that same kind of luck here in the uh, B series. Usually the Xfinity car is cleaner than the trucks. But it's also tougher to drive a lot of the time. Okay, contact car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. Okay, I thought... Differently in making it three wide. Inside lane got a great start. We're going real slow now, though. Oh. Really checking out for this guy. Alright, we wrecked. Cool. Well, from a caution free truck race here last week to. We made it. Two turns. Brandon, what's my right here look like? People are already asking about their uh, damage. Did you win? Not sure what that was. I didn't see anything. Probably happened in my mirror. But I uh, was a little busy looking out my windshield rather than looking out the rear view mirror. We gained four spots, I think. Wait, no, we didn't. It said 14th for a second, but we started like 11th, right? Yeah, so only one. Did we? Where did we start? I don't even know where I started. Is that bad? That's probably bad. I should probably pay attention. We didn't go backwards, I know that. 
that's typically pretty good when you don't go backwards. I'm going to say fuel just because I can. Got a long way to go around this track though. P10. Felt like we got a really good start on the inside lane compared to the outside lane, and then we kind of got checked up entering the corner. And then people wrecked. We're under caution. It's closed. In case you needed a recap of what happened. Just trying to save fuel right now. Trying to avoid hitting the brakes. I hit 12. Do I have damage on that right rear? Someone please tell the 13 if he has damage on his right rear. He's been asking for days. I don't even know where he is. Little bit in the back. 15 playing the hero? Alright, thanks. You'd think your crew chief or your spotter or somebody would be able to tell you, but... They're actually robots, so they don't really have a very good sense of these things, these judgment calls. Robots are notoriously bad at making judgment calls. You ever heard of the trolley problem? Even humans have trouble making judgment calls sometimes. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Mm hmm hmm. So we're going to be on the outside. You got plenty of fuel. No, I don't have plenty of fuel. Don't be silly. That's obviously not calibrated. Be finding out what the Wonder truth is here. Uh, once we get this thing figured out. Why does it say we're P9? I guess I was in front of somebody that I wasn't supposed to be. Or something. I don't know. Definitely on the outside lane, though. Saving that fuel. Let's get a good run this time. How are we feeling about that? I like that idea. We got restarts zone, uh, restart zones implemented now, so everybody's been using the restart zones, which usually just means go on green. Because the green comes out basically as soon as you hit the restart zone, it seems like. About to go green. Stay focused. Hopefully get a good view up front. The pace car is off. Be ready. Hopefully the outside lane gets a better jump this time. Green, green, green. You're in the top end. Inside. Okay, I'm just gonna cut me off, I guess. What is he swerving around for? Jesus. Pick a lane. First he starts go acting like he's gonna go high, then he's turning down low. He's like trying to block me in the middle of the corner or something. I'm not even trying to go. Everybody going real slow through the corner. Probably what we need to do. I think someone's blinking up there. I saw smoke, but I think it's just blinking. You're on the bottom three wide. I don't want to be. Damn. Clear high. Car 
All right. Just doing our thing. Pretty close racing. You're in the top ten. That guy's getting loose. Getting these runs on, guys. I don't feel like I'm pushing very hard. Wow, he's holding me tight. These guys are kind of being crazy. so good. Gonna keep an eye on that water temp. Like I said, should still should be fine, but I want to keep an eye on it regardless. Make sure I'm not getting to the inside of someone I don't want to be. For a second, like the two got to the back of the guy ahead of him, but I think it was just some weird connection thing making the guy look sideways ish. I'd like to promote side by side racing. Because that's bad for your guys' tires. And I am in a competition with you guys. Holy smokes, he's trying to kill me. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Still there, hold your line. Car outside. Stay low. Okay. Low. Was that was weird. It looked like he really wanted to try to pass him, but I was there and I was like, please don't turn into me. Sorry, I have to look to the right a lot. Single monitor things. Just casual single monitor things. Get pretty tight in turns one and two. Might have to let him go on the high side here. It's interesting how much different turns one and two and three and four feel. good though we got a little bit of a gap behind us which is interesting we use a tiny bit of break it's one of two's feeling weirdly tight not trying to pass him that's just the line I want to take That didn't feel very good either. I don't think I want to do that anymore. I feel like I'm doing something wrong in 3 and 4. I don't feel like I should be getting that good of a run every time. That water temp's going up, huh? It 
frequency goes right back down as soon as I get off the throttle. Oh my god. Why is 1 and 2 so tight? That felt terrible. 3 and 4 is just fine. 1 and 2 is so tight. I gotta start using the brakes more uh, routinely, I guess. I was kind of driving weird. Okay. That's probably more what I need to be doing. Seems like things have settled down quite a bit. We're single file. A while still for pitting. Oops, forgot to use a little bit of brake again. I can't believe how bad it feels in one and two compared to three and four. I hope it continues feeling good in 3 and 4 at least. So if it starts feeling bad in both, we've got trouble. That felt less good. Are we getting trouble? I don't know, I mean, on P8, as the 8 car, that's not so bad. there's a reason why 1 and 2 are uh, so different to 3 and 4. Maybe it's like in the sunlight on one end of the track. Maybe a uh, newer surface or something. I don't really know the history of the track enough to know the answer to that. But we are falling off, which is not my favorite. Try doing something different there. It did not work. That was absolutely horrendous, actually. Well, I guess we were bad to the tires. That's what we're learning here today. Stay high to the car on the low side. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Car outside. Clear. Car inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. Keep high. Clear inside. Didn't expect the three to carry much, that much speed. I ended up kind of cutting off his run. Wasn't even intending to. Like he carried so much more speed on the high side than I expected. This car's not turning in one two, and I hate it. Well, by field, I guess. We got someone in the wall up there, or are they just running the wall? I can't tell. I think they're just running the wall, because it looks like they got speed. Hopefully they don't fall too far back. Okay, Colton, the next car is Bruno. I don't want to give up on the Highline just because it hasn't worked for me 
four. It might just be I'm approaching it incorrectly. That time was better than last lap, I think, by the time I reached the uh, end of the straightaway. Or just about equal, it looks like. I'm just having a rough time. This car is super tight. And it started off so well, too. We've got a short run car here today, I think. Got a short run driver. Ripping the tires off of it. It hit the apron, that's a good idea. My bad. Whoa, what's happening up there? We've got shenanigans. Guess they've got damage. There's a spot for us that I don't deserve. Is that a wider entry there? I think that actually worked better than what I've been doing. Though to be clear, I'm still very much off base. 20 is going to come flying by us pretty soon. You guys pitting very early. Hmm. That's interesting. I feel like something must be wrong, because all of a sudden he's really off pace. Let's make sure everybody hears him. I think everyone's getting tight though, because we're seeing some guys get in the wall and got pit guys pitting really early. But again, I think something's wrong with his car, because I think it's way too early right now for that. Oh my gosh, I waited so long on the throttle and I still was so tight. I cannot believe how much this thing is plowing. Pitting early might be a great idea. Still not that early. As early as that guy was, but still, early might be a good idea. Can't tell where this guy's trying to go. Outside. Clear outside. Outside. Around me is where he should be going. Sorry. Horribly slow. Give the five the high line. Mike, you see if I have any damage Outside, clear. I am stinking it up right now. Draft, please. So a lot of guys are up by the wall now. I don't know, I just, that has not worked at all any of the times I've tried it. Might have to try it again though here. So it's looking like the guy's getting the run off. It's really uh, working for them. I think we come in lap like 30... One. Thirty-one. 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 We'll, we'll do that, I guess. Hey, guys. How's this high line going? Still very tight? Alright, cool. Yeah, I don't know what I expected. 
Turns out I'm slow, no matter what line I take. Yeah, I'm I'm with you, man. Sorry, I got into you earlier. I'm gonna cross this guy over. I'm gonna try to make him faster. Cannot do that high line. I've determined it. I've made the judgment call. I can't do it. It's not possible. Not within my skill set, so we are going to keep going on a low side. I guess 31 is what we're still aiming for. I like how that felt. I think I need to be on the brakes longer. Okay, I'm kind of figuring it out. Just to make sure I'm waiting long enough that the car is actually willing to turn. Mike, do you see damage on my right side? Lots of guys asking about damage this race. in here, but it's a secret, don't tell anybody. Watch your speed. All right, we did it. Went a little bit slower just so I didn't uh, speed. Going for the undercut. Get it stopped. 6280. Tire saving master. Colton Tyndall. Okay, go. Hopefully I'll be a lucky dog candidate. As an early adopter of the pit. I see someone on my left coming on up. Your engine temperatures are looking better than outside. Clear up top. High ear. Is this guy pitting? Yes. Okay. Gotta keep an eye out for that stuff. Got guys probably getting on pit road better than me. See them skidding their tires. That means they were aggressive. Hopefully we get some uh, free spots. If guys overcook it. I think I can save tires better this run. And I'm going to have to because it's going to be a slightly longer run. Johnny, do you see any damage on my right side? Yeah, you got a little bit on the far right. Where is this guy trying? Hitting, hitting. Car outside. Outside, clear. Temperature's creeping up. Alright, figured that out. There's a car exit in the pits, heads up. 18th, we're at the halfway point. I think about outside. 33. Lumps remaining on this tank. Keep low. Clear. I feel like the 5 was trying to block the low side like a jerk. Could be wrong, I saw him getting loose, but he sure seemed pretty far down the track. To what a normal line would look like. 
I think maybe he was just concerned about pitting, perhaps. So. Let me not accuse. I don't want to be an accuser. Don't want you or a loved one to be an accuser. The old uh, 50s PSA ad. Don't know how this is going to shake out. I think I went into the pits at about an 11th, I think? Something like that? Probably worse. I remember I fell off pretty bad. Yeah, get some rotation. Hit that apron. Fast guys hit the apron. <laughs> this has been terrible racing tips. Position. That was to get fast laps, make sure you're always hitting the apron every corner. Maybe the threes driving it really hard. Tires are only two laps newer than mine. Take it easy now. Seven seconds, Brandon. I uh, haven't put it yet. Inside. All I did was skim it. Clear. Looked for a second like he was pitting, so I didn't go below him. Either in the top of the was forty point tight. Outside. Clear outside if you want to. You want to go, go. I'm trying to be easier on the tires this run. On, right now he's going to back off. What is your plan? Add another 15 to it. I don't know what his plan is. Yeah, they're done. I'm, I'm wondering how uh, those guys that are going long are going to fare. I'm already uh, in a better spot than I was before pitting. And I feel like I have a better understanding of what I need to do to uh, be better long run. Two point six. Ooh, really on the right rear right there. Almost got two sideways. That might have looked concerning to the three. Yeah, but we got it. Tight. We're under control. Trust me, I'm a professional, alright? He's gonna professionally pass me. So I got tight that corner. It's fine, we lift off here. Easy autumn. Clear. No crossover from me. We'll get my draft. I was already feeling tight again. Hey, hey boys, I'm in this time. Other Colton, just now pitting. You definitely see the guys charging back at the end, though. All right, you're faster, so you better go. Come on, come on, three. <laughs> He's kind of like been doing that high line. I can't do that high line. I uh, I've tried it a couple times. It's not working. Well, so. We're in sixth, but we got the seventh place car coming up fast. I think he's on five lap newer tires, so he's probably got some good speed on us. Good to have Mike here for draft. 
Nine's probably gonna go get around us this corner. I don't know where he's planning on going. I was trying to kind of leave the bottom open. And he didn't really, he kind of followed me into the corner. I figured if I went middle, he could either go high or low. And then he chose middle with me. <laughs> that was not really how that was supposed to go. But we figured it out. Oh wow, the uh, the other Colt is already right behind us. So maybe going long is the play. It's not what I would have expected. But uh, there he is, on 10 lap fresher tires, right behind us. Can this turn please? That felt weird. Felt like I was hitting a series of bumps and just continuing going up to a wall. It felt strange. So we're going to be passed by other Colton and be the inferior Colton in this race, but that was not surprising. Wow, what's surprising to me is that we just got fifth. I guess people were still heading into the pits for the first time or something. Uh, fifth place, wow. So we're looking good right now, but got some guys with fresher tires in the windshield. Go high, dude. He's got much faster tires. Clear. We still got people pitting, are you kidding me? That's crazy. That's some kind of crazy bread going on here. Who's on pit road? I swear it just said leader is pitting, right? Yeah, look at him. Look at him there. Little gray name down there. I uh, did not realize we we're still going to be catching up to people. This car sure doesn't like to turn. I mean, that guy's three seconds back. Only two lap fresher tires. And I feel like I'm doing a better job saving tires this run. So we might not lose as many spots as I am expecting, although the one's coming with a big head of steam. You're back in fifth. Back in fifth. 11th to fifth? Liking the sound of that. Still time to lose spots, of course, but... One decent, the 17 back there. Also, 8 lap fresher tires. He will probably be around us again. I'm getting more rotation on the exit of 4 than I remember, so that's good. Makes me feel like I've done better with the tires. Using brake earlier in this run to help get this thing slowed down and being more patient in one and two. Like I should have been doing earlier last run. Using what I've learned. Since we've actually got no more pitting to do, no green flag pit stops, I'm actually going to put the brake bias further back, so I don't have to worry about spinning while slamming on the brakes getting out of pit road. Probably not a huge difference because we're barely using brakes, but it can't hurt. The guy that was leading is now gone. He must have sped or something. Uh, and then just gave up. So that's interesting. It's coming up quick. Let him pick what lane he wants. Looks like he wants bottom. Bottom is what he shall get. 
Still there at the bottom. We're on the high line here. We got a couple of guys we need to let by. Alright, so that stinks. Lost two spots, but was never going to be able to keep those. Because they were well ahead of me to begin with. So the couple of guys we got behind right now have fresher tires, but only marginally so. Directly behind us, three lap fresher tires. Behind him, two lap fresher tires. And then another three. Car inside. Clear. Car inside. Very polite of the floor to do that. Probably seeing that I was not able to get around him in one and two. So I backed off here so I could take the line I wanted. Might be making that up, but it seemed like he was aware of my situation and then just lifted off for me, which I am very grateful for. The gap behind us now, 1.0 seconds. You've just done a 42.0. I think we're going to lose this spot to the 20. He's gaining a little bit too quick. We'll see though. Nah, he's definitely got it. As long as I can finish uh, ahead of the 11th I went into the pits with, I think I'm pretty darn happy. Especially because that would mean I get a top 10. And in uh, such a strong field, very happy with that. Johnny. He's coming up quick. See some smoke. Interesting. So that guy get bigger in my mirror. I hope he uh, decides to go around me instead of through me. I recognize that I don't have as good tires, but I'm gonna run my line. Way around. It's a big track. It's like seven lanes here. I'm sure you don't have to be in the same one as me. it because I'm pushing hard. He gets it done. Got another guy that's going to go around me. Takes the opportunity. Not going to cross him over. Instead of battling him, I want to try to keep this ninth if I can. This draft is going to help me. I'm only one second back, and that guy has much fresher tires. Man, we're going to fall to 10th. That sucks. Ten to go. Can I hold on to the top ten? ten to go. It's gone by. Gee whiz, I sure hope so. Wow, 
left guy. Yeah, right there. You got nice saves happening, Clear. apparently. Clear. Car Lap car taking Clear. my lane for some reason. It's okay, we'll run a, we'll run a lane higher. I think we're headed back to 11th. I hate to say it. <laughs> I think that's where we're going. I think this is going to cycle out just exactly how it was before. If I'm remembering correctly, maybe I wasn't in 11th, but I thought I remembered being 11th. It was looking good for a little bit, but uh, the undercut coming back to bite me a little bit. That lap time was 42.0. Hines getting a major run, I think. I see him on the high line. Oh, they're like nearly running into each other. Yikes. Sending it way too hard. So sure where he plans on going. That was unnecessarily risky. Literally wait like one corner. Who am I uh, to tell him what to do? He's got 6.1k. So he uh, must know something I don't about doing a crazy dive bomb. The 10th place. It's six laps to go. Seven lap fresher tires. And much faster car. I don't know, it doesn't add up to me. Outside. Still there. Still there. Still struggling though. Keep low. Pinching me really hard. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Don't get me here though. I'm high it's all right. We'll take his draft. Kind of close to each other up there. I wonder if they're gonna start getting into each other or anything. Certainly is easy to do when the car's this tight. I'm assuming they're tight as well. Probably not as tight as I am, but I'm sure they're dealing with uh, some form of it. But we have uh, officially gone back to where we were ish before the pit cycle. Which is actually kind of bad because we had some people that had trouble that I think might have been ahead of us. I don't know, I might be wrong. 11's sliding. Oh, I got tight. He was sliding. Something doesn't seem right there. 
How come he gets to have a an oversteering car? I want some of that. They're racing hard though, it looks like. For them not to have a uh, wreck and bring out a green white checkered after so many good laps, but I do have a short run setup, apparently. Although I don't know, I'm actually not so sure about that because qualifying wasn't that great either. So I think what I have is the free setup. <laughs> but I believe the leader probably, right about now, is taking the white flag, so no more cautions. Eleventh place, unless something crazy happens. White flag, last lap. That lap time was forty-two point three. V eleven. We getting loose. The leader has finished. Five laps of fuel left. Oh no, five laps of fuel left. I think we're okay. Uh, that guy is up in the wall for some reason. That was weird. Did he lose a spot doing that? Anyway, okay, hey, that was pretty we'll good. Very solid uh, competitive race. Like hey, thanks. He said good win, Colton. We, uh, <laughs> we are not the. <laughs> We are not the better Colton. The guy that won the race is. But that's okay. I showed up. <laughs> the 11 and a 3.7k strength of field. On a free setup, I will take it. I'm pretty happy with what I did. I felt like I did everything I needed to do. And uh, learned a little bit for the second run. 61.77. What was it the first run? I remember it was worse than that. I think mostly worse. Like, it wasn't on the right rear as much. But that was also a longer run. Uh, I'll have to keep in mind, but... Alright, move forward a couple spots from where we qualified. Kept it clean for a 0x. I'll definitely take it. That's a solid showing in such a strong field. So, we'll see... What happened out here? I'm gonna lose four irating, apparently. Approximately. Hey, there's the initial start. High line was getting real checked up, but then we got checked up on the low line that turned the corner. I think it was actually just the 20, maybe? I was really having to wait for him. Didn't want to take it three wide. He's back out of it. Oh, we had a caution, that's right. <laughs> Let's see what that was. Someone self-spinning. And then a blink while they're self-spinning. Is this the, oh yeah, that's the 26 that I said, uh, that I mentioned from the start with the still respectable 2.3K. I remember saying that. He unfortunately did not have a good first corner. That was the only caution of the race. That's pretty awesome. There's some commotion up front, excuse me, up ahead of that guy we just watched. Someone's gonna attempt the high line and just, whoa, <laughs> somehow make it stick. He drove in there hard and still somehow made it work. I guess it is still early in the race, so... Got some grip. Is he gonna be able to do that consistently, though? So far, so good. He's only pretend hitting the wall. That's, uh, real life. Hitting the wall right there. Mine's getting tight. Very tight. Keeps hitting the wall, though. He's able to lift off enough. Ha 
Ford was having uh, engine issues, I think. His, his temps were going high, and that's why he had to pit early. I hope he didn't pay for that setup. 24 in the wall. 24 in the wall. Yes. I have to scoot a little bit faster through these. I didn't expect there to be so many wall hits. Oof. Like that one. Okay. And not turning. Yep. Five gonna come up and get this guy. Ooh, it's close. Look how wiggly he is on the straightaway. This car's so strange on the on the straights with how wobbly it is. Wall hits continue. Nineteen forgot there was a corner there. Might have been looking at the 23 approaching quickly. Blinkies. Whoa. Lighting going crazy. Even the one's getting in the wall. Even the two's getting in the wall. Even the 22's getting in the wall. Oh, that guy wasn't clear. He apologized for it, remember? And uh, now we know why. It was a very not good slide job. Technically clear, but you cannot expect someone to react that quickly when you just peer right in their windshield. That must have given him temperature front end issues. And that's why he was overheating. So it's good to pass some more wall hits, getting this thing going. 24 is having a really rough time right now. Looks like he hit it a couple times, maybe. Seven eventually finally finds the wall. He was cutting it real close for a long time. One finds it again, it looks like. He got it pretty good. Oh boy, 24, whoa! Even the three's getting in the wall. Okay, I'm done. I'm not doing that anymore. Let's go, come on. No more wall hits. I want action. We want guts. We want glory. Now we're in the middle of pit stops, as you see some guys coming out of the pits. How do we get in this situation? I guess he's on new tires, probably. Approaching the two. Just decides to run into the back of them. That's an interesting choice. This is a pretty clean race, though, overall. The only things we're getting, for the most part, are these wall hits. Guess I'm glad I stayed out of the wall. I don't think we're gonna get anything else, because it is almost over now. Oh, that 25 clobbered the wall there. What happened? He just did not turn at all for him on exit. He loses that spot. One, getting one last wall hit in. Seven, getting one more in. I was curious to see if he was actually going to hit the wall because he's been like, get super close the whole race. It was, I don't know why that happened.
<laughs> I don't. I, that was weird. I don't have an explanation for that. He just wanted to hit the logo, or the uh, whatever is right there. Scratch it. I don't know. Don't have an explanation for that one, but that'll do it. The floor is frustrated because his car blew up. He just uh, do finally does it in right there, and that'll do it. So I uh, I'm happy with that. A respectable finish in a very strong field. Lose a little bit of eye rating, but pretty much just break even. So, uh, I'll take it. That'll do it. Thanks for watching. Me be the second best Colton in here. We're now battling to see who could stay in the lobby the longest, I guess. But, uh, I'm heading out soon, so I will see you later. Hope you have a good one, and I will see you next time.